no bondage, uh, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and walk. Good time's so coming. Get in. the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <laughs> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park, just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still oh, you sore, bitch. Are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Time's you know up. What? I'm... Ah! You fucking. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. And here we go. <laughs> That's going to be Magic Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Why just tell me this? 
Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not going to help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. Whoa. Just go on. Get green shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Funny time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Money, money. Lots of money. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? I don't have to listen to this shit. I don't think he's gonna tell us anything we need to- we actually need to know. How to smoke? I like Woody. I mean, he's a prick, but... Thanks. Shitty grand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Too much smoking Jersey in this game. Wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. That's not promising. Redhead guy driving the car. Uh, it looks like the redhead guy who's been around it all the time. Well, maybe it was nothing. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just <clears throat> one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Full. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. 
This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now. Very intense. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Shit. Shit! Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. <clears throat> Bufkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Yay, now I guess which, people like He might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. Money from he Crane. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. And you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, it's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. I know. <clears throat> I like Toad too. What can I say? Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. 
Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering hey, why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Hooray, hurrah. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. All right. Yeah, okay. I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Someone's watching. Uh -oh. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. <laughs> oh dear. This is not going to go well. But soon he mended his evil ways. All right. Kick open. Kick, kick. Maybe I should have just opened it. Shit. Trap. Okay. Who is it? Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, 
for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. It's a tiny Tim. Well, Tim. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... he's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? <clears throat> Stop go ahead. Me. You got a yeah. job to do. Thank you. I am. Sheriff Wolf, sir. All right. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Right, let's fucking do this. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. <clears throat> Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Every time. Every bloody time. And there we go. Next time, things go bad. I've and heard stories about me. you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. <clears throat> Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. More people wanted Colin to go to the farm, did not try and remove the ribbon. I think it probably would have hurt me, like done something to me. Uh, which crooked operation? 50% cut above. <sighs> did you send Toad to the farm? Again. And 24.6% of people lit a cigarette. Ugh. But th this is early days, so we'll we'll have a proper look at it another time. Um, 
So there we go, people on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.